You are listening to the My One Cent Podcast. Thanks and enjoy. Surprise, motherfucker. Greetings and salutations from the Mountains and Podcast, and welcome back to what should be and always is another great episode. And we are back. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. I think I've said that like three or four times already. Um, <clears throat> so here we are, back again for another episode of the Mountains and Podcast. Um, and as I uh, posted earlier in the week on the My Mountains and Podcast Instagram account, which is just at my own podcast with the number one. Uh, actually, no, it was the Twitter. Was it my was it my Instagram or my Twitter? I might have done it in both, but I think it was Instagram. And I uh, I set out a new target for the hit list for the my own podcast hit list, and you're going to hear from this individual very very soon. Um, because uh, yeah, I I'm not. I want you to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. I want you to hear what's happening out there for real. What people are actually like. The, the fact that this is even coming out of somebody's mouth. Me personally, this person needs to get investigated to find out if they aren't, you know, a sick fuck. But you'll see. You'll see, and you guys can make your own opinions. And I'm sure they're going to be varied. Hopefully not. Hopefully they're very unanimous with this is a sick fuck. And this thing she's proposing, yes, yeah, a woman, by the way. She's going to do her pronouns and all that stupid shit. Um, but it's a woman. Doesn't look like one because all of them, all of these people, and I think I said it last week, last show, all these people that are, they're, you know, preaching all this shit, they all look the same. They all either shave their head off, have a nose ring, colored hair, they're all fat or skinny, and they don't have a man, and they need to get fucked. That that's that's their common factor with all these stupid people. And yes, I'm calling them stupid because they are stupid because what they're trying to put inside your head is nonsense. It's mumbo fucking jumbo, okay? Plain fucking simple. I don't have a problem with people believing in living a certain way, but let's live your life. But what these people are doing, to me personally, is an attack. I think it's personally, it's an attack. Sorry about that. I have to move my chair up. It's an attack on just humanity, dude. I'm sorry. Believe it. I, I, think, it's, I, I think it's too much. It's a little too much. People are you're telling you that they're not this, they're not that, that they're not gender. Dude, you're a man or you're a woman, and that's it. There's no, there's no, there's no three ways about it. Right? There's only two ways. That's it. But anyway, that's <clears throat> we're not doing. We did that show last week or last. I keep saying last week. Well, I guess it was last week. I posted it last week. <clears throat> that's another show. This is, you know, this is another to me a, a topic that needs to be addressed. And it is. It's being addressed. I've heard it. I've heard this and similar um, conversations on, on other podcasts that I listen to. Um, shout out uh, Hodge Twins. Check them out. Obviously, they don't need my my help to promote them, but uh, they have millions of followers and part of my American as well. Uh, two great podcasts. So, but before look, before we get into any of this, because I don't want to forget this. Because this isn't just a show about all this stuff. We, you know, we talk other things. And I want to talk some sports really quick. And if you thought that I wasn't going to touch on it, then you're fucking crazy. And I know rankings don't really do... I, I'm not a big proponent on rankings early in the season. Uh, Florida wasn't ranked going into the season. That's fine. UM was 17. Everybody went nuts about it. And they let Bethune-Cookman score 13 points on them. But, you know, they're back. Um, <clears throat> so, the unranked... Gators of the University of Florida in Gainesville, not my alma mater, too bad, I would have liked that to be the case, but it's not, but that's my team, that's who I root for, and those of you who know me know that, and 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 pretty aggressively as well, no, I have no expectations for them this year, and I said that, <clears throat> but that's fine, because I'll keep saying that, and then they keep winning, then it's just, you know, it's just a nice, you know, nice surprise for me, um, yeah, the University of Florida, the unranked University of Florida, took on the Number seven ranked Utah Utes. What? The two Utes? What's a, what's a Ute? Um, and, uh, you know, it wasn't a blowout. It wasn't a dominant game, even though 
I will say this. If it wasn't for the fumble, and if you haven't seen the game yet, sorry. Spoiler alert. If it wasn't for the fumble in the first drive, I don't, I don't know if the game would have been that way. I think I actually feel we would have gone down. We were moving the ball effectively for the first drive. I was very happy. Sorry, I have a burp that was coming, but then it didn't come out. I was very happy with that um, until the fumble. But he made up for it later on, trust me. And, uh, I, I mean, other than the defense, I think, can do a little bit better. I don't, man, I, I was a great game. I was very pleased um, with the offense, to be honest with you. They, they, we, we threw the ball. We ran the ball effectively. Obviously, you know, I'm going to use it, even though he says he doesn't want to use it anymore, and I get it. That's fine. AR-15 is a pimp, and unfortunately, Mullen didn't, didn't see that last year or didn't see enough to want to say, hey, you know what, Emery, sorry, dude, this guy's better than you. And he is, and you can see that. Um, so I'm excited about the rest of the season, but let's see because – <clears throat> Excuse me. We might come in next week and lose to fucking Kentucky at home. So I'm not getting carried away. I think it was a really nice start. It was a good team win. Um, you know, against the top ten team. I don't give a fuck what you what you say. Whether it was seven, three, nine, or even ten. And if even if you don't believe in early rankings like I don't, it's still a top ten team. And so as the in the overall scope of college football, that was a great win. Technically, it's an upset, but you know what? We don't storm the field, though, in Florida. You see that? We don't storm the field. We beat a top-10 team unranked. We didn't, we didn't storm that shit. Nigga, we expected to win. Player, we don't storm fucking courts or fields. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. So, anyway, and um, well, every all three teams started the weekend good. Florida State won last night, beating LSU on a crazy fucking gr- I didn't watch the UM. I didn't even know what time the game was. All I know is they, it was 70 to 13, I think. Yeah, that's putting seventy on Bethune Cookman is not nothing to be nothing extraordinary. You, you guys have done it. We've done it. Plenty of teams put those kind of numbers up on shitty teams. But you let them score thirteen on you. Oh, damn. I mean, does that team does that team even score points out against anybody? <laughs> it's just hilarious. But uh, and Florida State won a crazy ass game. Okay, look real quick, just to break it down from what I could see the highlights this morning. Twenty four seventeen, under two minutes, LSU f- fumbles a punt. Florida State picks it up, and on the ensuing drive, they also fumble at the goal line. LSU gets it back. They go. Down. This is the thing people aren't talking. They went. Not, they went down ninety nine yards on them in in a minute and something. Um, scored, but they were still down one. And then FSU blocks the, f- the extra point to win the game. That's just crazy. It's crazy, crazy. Um, so all three teams, you know, won this weekend. So that's good. You know, college football. I said it, bro. As much as I hate your UM, and, and and I'm not a fan of Florida State, obviously. College football is better when all the Florida teams are involved, and it just is. Um, <clears throat> and I, yes, I always, you guys are scared to play us. Nobody's scared to play nobody, bro. You're a small fish in a big pond, and you're irrelevant to me. And I'm talking to UM. I don't give a fuck about UM. Would we, I love to play them every year, yes, yeah, so we can shut them up every year, yeah. It would be nice to keep them, even though there's nothing that'll shut them up. They'll, they can lose every game in the season, they'll still say they're back. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> So that's it pretty much sports wise. I just want to say I'm very excited. It was it was an exciting game on Saturday and I was pleased. And let's see what happens. Let's move on to the next game and let, let's see what happens. So now get into the nitty gritty of this episode today. I'm gonna play some audio for you. And I hope you oh, oh shit. Wait, wait, what do we got here? What's going on here, buddy? No, no, no. You need to shut your mouth there, lady. I hope that I don't know how much came out. This is the first time I'm doing this. I don't play audio much unless I have it in my computer, and I wasn't able to get this audio to transfer, so I'm playing it off my phone. So I hope it sounds all right. I did a little test beforehand. I thought it sounded okay. Uh, and I might pause in between to, you know, make some comments and whatnot. So without further ado. Hi, folks. My name is Miranda. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm a licensed professional counselor and sex therapist in Erie, Pennsylvania. And today I want to talk about minor attracted persons. I'm going to stop it right there just so, like like Florentine says, let that sink in for a second. I hope, if you heard what she said, she said they want to, she wants to talk about minor attracted persons. And I said, I think I mentioned it last week and I left it at just the name, or did I? I don't know, whatever. Minor attracted persons. Listen to that, you know, uh, label, I guess if that's what you want to call it. 
minor attracted persons. Now, I'm going to let her explain to you what that is. Because, you know, it's like you can't figure it out by the, you know, she. And I'm not, it's not taking a shot at you guys. I'm saying that just the fact that somebody even made, in, you know, made this up, created this term for them, and is trying to, you know, convince somebody that it's, that they're okay. We'll just hear it. Here. And I want to talk about minor attracted persons because they are probably the most vilified population of folks in our culture. Um, yeah, when you stick your penis in children, that's what's going to happen because that's what you are. You're a fucking villain. You're an evil piece of dog shit. Not, you're not even, you're too good to be dog. You're, you're not even good enough to be dog shit. Excuse me. You're like the worst feces that comes out of the worst animal or the worst any just the worst creature in the world you're the shit that comes out of that like yeah of course you're gonna be vilified like well let's see let's 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 let's, i'm gonna give her her time her pronoun her she her to uh you know not succeed in convincing people and most folks are making incorrect assumptions about them without actually knowing much about them. And those assumptions create harm for an already marginalized population. So those assumptions create harm for an already a little already marginalized, I forget what she, she's going to say, the people, whatever. <clears throat> so what about the harm that they're causing their victims? What about the sick fuck who has sex with a toddler, with a baby? Because that's what that is. That's what you're talking about. Those people. People who have sex with their children, with their own children who, who, who molest and, and, you know, just ruin their own children. That's who you're talking about. That's who this lady's talking about. But she, and she wants you to sit here and not, and not vilify them? She's, hey, you know what? I'm going to let, I'm going to give her her time. You may have noticed that I'm using the term minor attracted persons, sometimes abbreviated to MAPS, <laughs> instead of the more commonly used term pedophile. Should and I'm doing. doing this because the term pedophile has moved from being a diagnostic label to being a judgmental, hurtful insult that we hurl at people. Judgmental, hurtful insult that we hurl at people. Again, what about all the hurling of hurt that they spew on to innocent victims? How about that? Like, listen, lady, lady, me personally, you're not going to ever convince me of this. And I would think that the people who listen to me, for the few of you that you are, have enough sense, obviously, that this is not going to sway anyone either. Like, at all. Like, honestly, if I, if one of my friends... Or somebody I knew, or somebody I worked with, or somebody I just met even, said to me that they agree with this woman, I will, I will cut all ties with that individual instantly. Whether you, I just met you or I've known you 20 years. Because that kind of person I don't want around my kids. Hell, and I, and I hope that that person, if that, if that person existed in my life, that they didn't have children. Because if they did, I would have to, I, would, I don't know, I, I couldn't just sit idly by and just be like, you know, this guy was like saying, yeah, yeah, I get what she's saying. I, you know, it's, you have kids. No, man. No, they're like really to me, nobody should be. And I know there's people, there's going to be people who agree with them and they're called pedophiles. That's who's going to agree with her. And probably some of her other non-binary friends are probably going to feel the same way, which is ridiculous to me that anyone feels this way, that this woman is on video. Me personally, this woman should get have her license stripped, and she should be thrown in fucking jail, and she should be investigated to see if she's not a fucking pedophile. Because it's like you're like cheerleading for them. It's what it feels like with to what she's doing. Why do you want these people who do this kind of harm to innocent people, children, to get any kind of breaks? And don't give me this shit if they go to prison. You know, look, if there's one, if there's a crime, for me personally, if there's a crime that I don't care how much time you do, you're never, you've never, to me, served your time, or whatever they call it, a, um, 
shit, what's that shit they say? Uh, serve the to society. I would, oh, uh, the debt to society. There's not, there's nothing. There's no sentence other than, than nothing. Even death is too good for you. There isn't a sentence in the world that can justify what you fuck, what you sick fucks do to kids. Because this is what we're talking about, kids. This is the only thing, this is the only thing, the only thing that happens to is kids. Because ain't no grown man going to get molested. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just, it's, it's, it's unfathomable. <laughs> I think that's the word. It's unfathomable to me to think that's, that there's someone out here that thinks that this is okay. Look, I'm going to give you a story. And I don't remember, I think it's, it's Florida, or not Miami, but it's local Florida, I think. And this was a 17-year-old girl who was dating an 18-year-old boy. And they were went to school together. The mother or the father, someone, one of the parents found out that they were having sex. And she reported him. And now the kid is a registered sex offender. That I don't consider right. You see, that's not what she's talking about, though. That's not the same person she's talking about. She's trying to make you think, like, feel all, you know, fluffy about it. But, like, if that's the scenario, and that scenario I understand. That scenario I think is wrong to do that to that kid. Especially when it's a, they're only a year apart. He's only a year removed from being underage, and she's a year away from being legal. Like, come on, man, Really? That's that's just ridiculous, and it, I mean at the end of the day it was all consensual as well. So, but this, the people that she's talking about, no man, no. And I don't even, you know what? I haven't even. I don't think I've heard the entire thing. I'm gonna play a snippet more to see if she gets, you know, just digs her hole a little deeper for you guys, and then you know we'll move on and end this bitch. I might have something else to throw out before we leave, but we'll see. In order to harm them or slander them. I also prefer person first language that recognizes that any label we might apply to a person is only part of who they are and doesn't represent everything that they are. We are all. Okay, so see with me, once you once you're that, once you're once you're a dirty pedophile fuck, I don't care I don't care anything else about you. I don't care what else you are. That's it. That's all you are now to me. Because if it's like I said, there's one crime to me that there's no justification for, no penalty to justify it, is this. Is this. Is is hurting a child. Scarring a child for life. I'm not saying they all do, but I'm sure ninety percent, ninety, ninety eight percent of these kids are scarred. You might have one or two that are strong and they get past it. Maybe it's, maybe they're too young to even remember it. And hopefully if, if it ever comes down to a, person, a situation happening, hopefully it's one of those, man, and maybe the kid can, can, can have a normal life, you know? Because once that happens, that, that's it. Their innocence is gone. They're, especially like a, a little girl, you know? Take that away from her, you know? That's, man, I, 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 I get queasy just talking about it. Just talking about it because it's fucking, it's crazy, man. This is insane to me. Is the pandemic fucked so many people up that this is what's coming out of it? They're like aliens, dude. I'm sorry. They're like fucking aliens. They're like, it's like if they jumped in that fucking lake behind the the the, the toxic uh, the the plant and the Simpsons and shit, and they came out like this, different color hair, fucking short hair, nose rings, fat, you know, just man. <laughs> there's another. There's a teacher also. Okay, I'm done with this bitch. I'm done with this hoe. She's just, it, it's just, there's nothing you can say to to convince me, or I would think most people with common sense, that, um, that, that you know, calling them minor attractive persons to not harm them is, gonna, it's, you know, you're not going to convince me or anyone that I had, think has any common sense at all that that's, uh, that, that should be happening. No, no way, no how, not even fucking close, like... You're a crazy bitch. You need to have, like I said, you need your license stripped from you, you, and you need to stay away from children. If you have any kids, they need to take them away from you, because you, man, you are, you're just, you're just, you're, you're evil. You're evil. I don't give a fuck. 
you're evil, okay? Because you're attacking the, the the blood of the life blood of our country, the young people who are gonna. That's what's gonna take care of me and take care of the people of mine and and people. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, no man, we're gonna get to a point. I, I, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm doing a lot of uh, because I'm like sometimes I don't even know where to go or what to say because it's just crazy to me. We're going to get to a point we're not going to know who's who. You're going to see somebody, you're not going to know if it's a man or a woman. And and it's stupid. It really is. <sighs> Whatever. <I'm laughs> so, yeah, real quick, look. I'll, I'm going to end on the... Uh, I'm going to end on... Well, there's this one lady, though, that was funny. Um, some white lady was... I might touch on this next week, next episode, because there's another video that I had seen about another lady trashing, I don't know who... Hold on, let me see if I can find this real quick. Let's take a a quick break, and uh, we'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. All right, so I found the clip that I wanted to play for you guys, but the only one I could find is actually with the Hodge Twins commentary, which, you know what, it's fucking perfect. And I don't think that I'm going to get in trouble for that because I do love the show, and I'm trying, and hey, it's a little promotion for them. And if uh, they got a problem with it, they can send me a cease and assist, and I'll laminate that bitch, and I'll put it up on the wall. Because I'm a fan of theirs. So, here we go. Just because they want to have sex with a five-year-old. They put up an article on this story. Franklin High School teaches lessons, stirs up debate. What is there to debate? <laughs> There's a reason why these people, when they become a sex offender, their pictures are posted on websites. Oh, they got to yeah. check in. These kids that go through this kind of trauma, they grow up and they end up doing it to other little kids. Pedophiles are sick people. They don't need compassion. Right. They need to be locked up. No, Keith. No. Don't call them that. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. And I probably could have said it just as good. Because there, I mean, anything. I mean, just, that was great. I give them props. They, they, them, and like I said, part of my American, doing great work. Also, follow Libs of TikTok. Big fan of theirs. Doing great work as well. And so, yeah, that's what we're dealing with, folks. Protect your kids, people. Protect your kids. Now, to end on a more of a lighter note, I started watching this uh, the show on FX, um, Welcome to Wreckham, I think it's called. It's the uh, documentary series that's following Ryan Reynolds, and I can't say his last name. I want to try to say it. Rob McKinney, I think it. Maybe it's right. The guy from, one of the guys from uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <clears throat> and um, they, they went ahead and they're co-owners of, a, uh, of the oldest... I think it's the third oldest soccer team, professional soccer team in the world. Uh, the Wrexham AFC. Uh, I forget what the – something football club. And uh, it's pretty – I'm not a big soccer guy. I like watching the World Cup and stuff, but I don't – like I don't go to the, you know, Inter-Miami games and I don't follow any of that shit. I don't follow Team USA because we suck anyway. But I got into this shit. Um, you know, I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but – Murray, I think I'm caught up, so I'm waiting for the new episode this week to drop. Uh, and uh, it's it's cool, man. I felt bad for some of the guys at the beginning, first couple episodes. You'll see if you watch it. But I, I recommend it. It's cool. It's cool. Um, it's just you know, to show you how sports can you know can influence people in, in life. And some of the people in that it's a small town over there in the, in the United Kingdom. So those people live with that with that team. They live and die with that shit, bro. That's so one of the guys was like, you know, it's. It's he when the pandemic hit and they weren't able to go to the games. It's like it messes with his mental health because that's something he's been doing since he was a kid. And these people live right next to the stadium; they walk there. And so, yeah, it's it's kind of cool. I'm into it, and I think I, you know, like I said I think I became a fan of that team. Now I'm not gonna be like overly, you know, watching everything. I'm gonna I have my notifications set on them, so when they win or whatever, I'll get you know the notifications because I know that right now they're in second place. I think. They're trying to think, if I'm mistaken, they're still trying to get out of that National League, but you got to win that, you know, that league or whatever to get out to promote. That's what they call the promotion. Because they're, like, at the bottom of the professional ranks when it comes to soccer in, in, the, in Europe. 
I guess, or the United Kingdom specifically, I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and also, there's a series on Vice. I'm watching it on Hulu, though, called The Dark Side of Comedy. And I got to tell you, bro, look, there's three episodes so far. One is Chris Farley, which is the first one, which is very sad for me. I, I, I ain't going to lie. It was sad because he was such a funny guy, man, and he was such a talent. And, you know, the way they talk, the funny thing, okay, okay, I don't want to, let me, mm, okay, let me give you the list first, and then I'll, I'll give you my critique because I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but it's it's still a good watch. Uh, then the second one was Andrew Dice Clay, and the third one is Roseanne Barr. I haven't finished Roseanne Barr. I got a little bit whatever with it. Now, the Chris Farley one, obviously you can't talk to Chris Farley because he's dead, <laughs> which is unfortunate because, like I said, he was funny as fuck. Um, but, look, they spoke to Tom Arnold, for example, who's supposed to be a good friend of his, and they spoke to two of his brothers. But he has two other brothers, I think. And But they didn't speak to Chris Rock. They didn't speak to David Spade. They didn't speak to Sandler. Um, I'm trying to think of the other person that was in the group of theirs. They didn't speak to none of those guys. Now, I don't know if it was because they didn't reach out or it was because they didn't want to be involved. I don't know. But I would think you're going to do something on that guy. Those guys would be part of it, especially David Spade, who was his best friend, apparently. Um, yeah. So, but the only thing I don't like, for example, the Andrew Dice Clay one was good, but he doesn't, they don't interview him at all. And I'm, I don't get it. Like, he does, they do his, they put some voice clips of his, so I'm assuming he had to get permission for that. I don't know. But he wasn't interviewed at all. And why would you do a, a documentary piece on a person and then not interview them specifically? Whatever. Uh, Chris Farley, like I said, I get it. He's not around no more. And then, in, like I said, the Roseanne one, I started it. I, it's I'm halfway through. They haven't talked to her either. So I don't know. I don't get it. It's, it the, the work was good. The Andrew Dice Clay one was good. Um... I saw some stuff I didn't even remember anymore. But the the Chris Farley one was really good. I would have been nice to have heard them, you know, talk to some of the other guys. Because those guys were really in the thick of it with him and trying to help him out and, and, and all that shit. So, But anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I hope it was educational and entertaining. As much as pedophilia can be entertaining, I hope it was... Hope you get something out of it. And like I said, if you'll protect your kids, protect them. Because they're out there. They're out there, and they are coming for them. So, so thank you. And uh, until next time, bye, Dios.